I drove deep into Connecticut to buy a comic book collection. I got it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about the price. And we're going to look at some cool books. All right, I went deep into Connecticut for this one. Was it worth it? You guys are probably going to think no. We are going to show some books. We're going to go over all the slabs. We're going to talk about the big keys. I'm going to save a little special thing for the end, but right before that, I'm going to talk about the price. Before we get into it, you know what to do by now. Okay, all right, with all that, check the description down below. There's all types of discount codes for all types of cool things. Mutant Beaver Comics, cover price, uh, Gemini Mailer Supply. I don't know what else is down there. All right, that's what she said. What? Stop that. Okay, uh, this collection. I got the call. Actually, this was a seller. Um, I talked to him way back in September and I completely forgot and he gave me a call to remind me, hey, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm interested in selling. Uh, we, we went back and forth, talked, and it, this was a tough one. This was a two-hour drive into Connecticut uh, right before King Con. I don't know when this video is coming out. This might be post King Con video, but anyway, uh, I went out there and uh, this collection was kind of broken up into three portions. The first were uh, about 25 long boxes. I don't remember the exact number. And then there were a whole bunch of slabs and then there was a whole bunch of bigger keys. So it was broken into three portions. First, I looked at the long boxes, then the slabs, which you're going to see, and then the bigger keys. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to talk about this collection. Let's just dig into it. All right, remember we're gonna look at the we're gonna look at the slabs. We're gonna look at the keys. And I'm gonna show you the long boxes outside. Uh, that's a big part of the the grand number. But after we talk about the keys, I'm gonna talk about the price. Then we'll go outside. All right, let's let's look, enough enough talking. Let's take a look at the slabs. All right, so we have four boxes here. One, two, three, and four. Almost a hundred slabs. We're gonna start with this one. And you're going to find out that a lot of the books are like the right books. First Nova, First Nova, just not the right grades. Here's the first Scott Lang. Here is the first Magda and more importantly, first Cathan, Origin of Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch. First Taskmaster, first Nightwing, first Scream, first Amanda Waller. First new Suicide Squad, Spider-Woman number one, first ongoing, Marvel Spotlight 32, that is the first Spider-Woman, first Jessica Drew, a gold Spider-Man number one, Spider-Man 13 with the black suit, web of Spider-Man number one, first appearance of the Vulturions, Vulture, all right, didn't know that. Marvel Team Up 141, this is ties for ASM 252 for the first black suit. This is just an old Larson cover, great Venom cover. And ASM 299, first Venom cameo. And that's that box. Let's move on to the next one. That was fun. All right, we have the first Bishop. That is a newsstand copy. First Omega Red, 6-0. Not happy about that, but... You have God of Thunder number five in a nine eight, but more importantly, first Gore the God Butcher in a nine eight. I would have liked that book in a nine eight a few years ago. Eternals number one in a nine four. That's a nice grade. And then you have a nine zero. Oh. Star Wars number five in a seven zero. Oh. She Hulk Savage She Hulk number one eight five. Miss Marvel number one in a six five. A seven zero. Oh. A 7-5, an 8-0, a 9-0, and a 9-4. It's a lot of fun, too. ASM 700, this is the Koipel variant. Eternals number 6, another Eternals number 6, and Eternals number 11. This is actually the first Kingo Thor 337, first Beta Ray Bill. 9-2 is not bad. Here's the second Better Bill, 9-4, Secret Wars 2, and uh, Secret Wars 2, Issue 3, and 9-4. He-Man, Masters of the Universe number one. This is actually the first full comic devoted to Masters of the Universe. So I know he was in DC Comics Presents, but this is actually his first solo. Uh, and a 9-4, I might actually keep that. And also a 9-0. And also an 8-5. So more fun. Let's go on to box number three. 
Marvel Chillers. This is the first Modred the Mystic. That's Marvel Chillers number one. Avengers 185, Origin of Quicksilver, Origin of Scarlet Witch, and Bova cameo on the last page. Bova the Cow. Another Marvel Team Up 141. Again, ties for the first appearance of the black suit. Here's the first Venom cover, kind of, sort of. Hydro Man McFarlane cover. X-Men 43, just a nice Silver Age X-Men key. Uh, Non-key, non I apologize. Doctor Strange number one, 6 -0. Aquaman 40, nice 1968 book. Here's a Wolverine number one and a 9-4. First Granny Goodness in a 4-5. Undervalued book, in my opinion. ASM 81, first Kangaroo, 5-0, mid-grade. Superior Spider-Man number one. This is the London Super Comic Convention Edition in a 9-8. Here's the first Puma in Cameo? No, this is the first full Puma in a 9-6. Then you have the second Puma in a 9-6. ASM 363, like classic floating heads in a 9-6. ASM 700, this is the fourth printing. That's a 9-0. This was actually a screw-up. This is Daredevil 21. But it says it's the second print, and I don't believe this is a second print. So, uh, just a random book. Venom 1, 9-8. Darkhawk 1, newsstand, 1-9-0. Raiders of the Lost Ark in an 8.5. Micronauts 1 in a 9.6. Swan 9 in a 9.6. First Angela. Moon Knight, Moon Knight 1 in a 9.4. Here's Moon Knight 25. That's the first appearance of Black Spectre. Great cover. You know, a Sienkiewicz cover. 9.2. This is Super Villain Classics number 1. This is actually the origin of Galactus in a 9.6. Alpha Flight 33 in a 9.6. That's the first Lady Deathstrike. And Turtle Adventures number one in a 9.4. First Bebop, first Rocksteady, first Krang. Are we having fun? I hope we're having fun. I'm having a ball. Here we go. Last box of slabs. Alpha Flight 194. You get a second one. Put those over here. Secret Wars 1 in a 9.4. Good times. Harbinger 1 in a 9.4, very, very difficult book to get into an, in a 9.8 because of the center coupon. Very difficult. Check out the 9.6 to 9.8 prices on those. Here's another first Beta Ray Bills, a new stand in a 9.4. Venom 1 in a 9.6. Marvel Spotlight Volume 2, number 6. This is a 9.6. This is actually the origin and first comic book appearance of Star-Lord. Star-Lord's first appearance is in a magazine. I think it's Marvel Preview 6. Another first... Lady Deathstrike in a 9.6. More Floating Heads in a 9.8. Here's another ASM 700, but this is the Ramos variant in a 9.8. ASM 362 Newsstand Edition in a 9.6. Here's the first Carnage. That's a second print, though, in a 9.8. Miss Marvel 1 in an 8.5. We have a lot of Miss Marvel 1s. And Spider Woman number 1 in an 8.0. Wolverine 1, 9.6. This is the first Wolverine as patch, but that's also a Newsstand copy. First, Madam Web in a 9.6. Star Wars 1, 7 0. Thundercats number one, newsstand in a 9.6. Werewolf by Night 33, that's the second appearance of Moon Knight in a 9 0. How about a little Death in the Family? We have an 8 5 on 426. We have a 7 5 on 427. We have an 8 5 on 428. We have a 9 0 on 428. That's the Death of Robin, Jason Todd. And a 9 4 in 428. And a 9 4 in 429. All right, that's it for the slabs. Let's talk about some of the major raw key stuff. All right, you saw the slabs. Let's talk about the bigger keys. Uh, before I do, I'm going to tell you the price now. I'm going to tell you what I paid now. And then we're going to look at the bigger keys. And then you're going to say, Gary, you are so dumb. And then we're going to go look at the long boxes. And then you're going to say, Gary, you're still dumb. Because I think I may have accidentally overpaid for this one. Not by much. I mean, uh, there's still money to be made. It's just, it's this is going to be a slow burning, slow burn collection. This is not going to come back quickly at all. Let's go. Orion of the New Gods. Number two, this is the first appearance of Darkseid on the cover. I believe it's his second appearance, second full appearance. Nice book. It's one of those Bronze Age DC books I may sit on. Here's another one, disgustingly undervalued. Eternals number one. The movie did a lot of damage to that book. COVID did a lot of damage to that book. 
Here's uh, X Factor number six. This is the first appearance of Apocalypse. $40 book, maybe 50 bucks. This one's in high grade, so it could return $50. Actually, I should have looked really close. Like if this is a 9.8, it's not a 9.8. This is a great book to get in a 9.8. First Apocalypse, major character. All right, Mr. Miracle number four. This is the first appearance of Big Barda. This is another one of those Bronze Age DC books I may sit on. Uh, Astonishing Tales 25, first Deathlock. This is one of those books that always sell at a convention, like no matter what. Super affordable, Bronze Age, Marvel Key. It's got a really good combination. Great cover. Uh, this one's in really high grade, not really high grade, but it's an eight, probably an eight, eight, five. We have three copies of Moon Knight number one. This is the first Khonshu, and these are nine, four. So these are, these are actually key issues. Not only are they number ones, first ongoing in title, first in title, because you know his first ongoing was actually in Marvel Spotlight, but uh, first in title, first series. Uh, next one, we'll get into a little bit bigger books now. Submariner number one from the 60s. Not bad. Uh, this one does not compare to the Silver Surfer number one from that time frame. This is a book that I might sit on as well. This is Swamp Thing 37. 37, first John Constantine. Got to get it out of this board. I got to get this. This this one's probably going to end up at CGC. And this next one is one of the books I'm going to be sitting on for sure because I just have faith in James Gunn with these type of characters. This is a demon number one. This one is looking like an 80, 7580. The bottom corner, just a little bit of rubbing on the spine, but it looks great. Colors pop on this. Really awesome book. All right, Amazing Spider-Man, 194. First Black Cat, love finding this book. Uh, this one is probably somewhere in the $200 to $250 retail range. This is another book that always comes off the wall at a show. Uh, whether it sells or not is one thing, but it's always coming off the wall. People are always asking about it. Uh, these two books are not a big deal at all. This is Daredevil 181. This is Death of Electra. These are like $20 to $40 books. They are high grade and one is a newsstand. This next one is one that has to go to CGC because, man, it looks great. It's probably in the 8.0 range. This is Marvel Premiere 28. Another one of those kind of books, Bronze Age Marvel Key, that always sells. If I were to bring this to King Con, it's I'm not coming home with this book. It always sells. Uh, and I don't know if it's because there's just not a ton out there or people just love the cover, love the characters. It's none of their first appearances, but it is the first Legion of Monsters. Great cover. Everyone's on the cover. And that may be part of it. I, I, and I do love this book as well. Amazing Spider-Man 238. Yes, the tattoos are in there. Uh, this one's probably going off to CGC because I think I have an 8 or an 8.5. And this is looking closer to a 9, maybe a 9.2. Amazing Spider-Man 101. Probably keeping this one raw. This is the first Morbius. And last but not least, before we go look at the long boxes, Marvel Premiere 15, first Iron Fist. This book to me is disgustingly undervalued. Uh, and I don't know if it has anything to do with the Netflix show or people just not liking Iron Fist, but this is a very affordable book. So much so that it might be worth investing in. It's so affordable. Relatively speaking for a Bronze Age Marvel key. Keep that in mind. Um, all right. What did I spend on this collection? And then we'll go look at the long boxes. Uh, it's hard for you guys to guess because you, you just don't, you're not seeing the whole thing, but I spent 9,000 on this one. Kind of hurt. Um, I definitely overpaid after looking back, but not to the point where I would lose money. Just the fact that this is a grind to turn a profit because there's nowhere near $9,000 in books for what, what you guys just saw. There's nowhere near $9,000. Um, but I mean, I, there's nowhere near $9,000 what you just looked at. But uh, when we start going through, we're not going to go through all the boxes in the garage, so I apologize. But when you start plucking books from the boxes in the garage, you're like, okay, $25 here, $35 there. This one might be 20 It's a grind. This is going to be a grind to turn a profit, but there is so much inventory outside. It, it's helped move this collection. So you know what I paid? We're going to go take a look really quick out in the garage and then that'll be it for this video. So come on, let's, let's go out there. All right. So here's the rest of it. We have two long boxes here, three short boxes here, and then three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 19, 20. So about 21 and a half long boxes. And like, this is what, what it kind of is, you know, like 
$10 books. There's a bunch of them. I think that, like, there's... What else we have in here? Here's, like, a first domino. Uh, some of this stuff's not great, but some of it is okay. Like, some Venom Web of Spider-Man, some older Spectacular, Power Man Iron Fist. Here's a minor key. First Aqualad. Uh, some Bront Copper Age stuff, a bunch of web, of, but more web of Spider Man. We have New Warriors number one. A lot of this stuff. See, minor keys all day. Here you go. Death of Superman, second print. Here's a Simpsons book. Secret Wars. There's a lot of Secret Wars in here. Uh, that's the first Miss Martian. Uh, look, first El Diablo. You know, first Stephanie Brown. Spoiler. Oh, well, first spoiler, hardware number one. It's this kind of stuff where, like, yeah, every book in here, here's, look, the first magic. Um, it's going to take a long time, but it's there. Here's Power Rangers 1. Look, here's Eternals. What do you got there? For Eternals number 5, Eternals number 4. It's a lot of this stuff where it's going to be a grind. There's going to be a lot of work here. Here's, here's a Bronze Age soups. There is a lot of work. You know, there's a little silver. Now and again, you're going to find some silver, some bronze. Here, look at that. Subby, low grade, right? But silver subby. Doctor Strange, 12 cent Doctor Strange. Bronze Age soups. All right, here's here's a Silver Age Hawkman. It's number 14. Bronze Age Hulk. So like, first Vigilante. Uh, Iron Man, in, uh, King Size number one. King Size Daredevil number one. Sergeant Fury, King Size number one from 65. So, oh, here. Look, Wolverine miniseries. This is the kind of stuff that's in here. Where, like, it's a grind. That's, that's, there you go. There's a minor key right there. The drug issue. 12 cent Adam book. Where, like, Brave and the, 12 cent Brave and the Bull. 12 cent Green Lanterns. There's a Bronze Age. Look, 12 cent Thor. Spectre. So, like, it's a lot of this kind of stuff across 20 long boxes. So, this collection, as much as I feel like I overpaid... It still will turn a profit. It's just going to take a very long time, but it's there. I just got to put the work in. Like, if you see here, look, okay, there's Marvel superhero books in here, but you do have Secret Wars minus issue eight, some West Coast Avengers, some Captain Marvel. Um, yeah, I don't want to just start going through boxes, but it's here. It's just going to take, again, a very long time. Very long time to turn a profit. So that is this collection. I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, keep it comics.